Hi ladies, long time no see. So today I just want to show you how my hair looks. I don't know how it looks yet because I haven't taken off any of these rollers and it's my first time doing my natural 4C hair uh, with these rollers. So, hmm, let's see. Okay, I'll start from the back. So let's start. So I did this yesterday, last night, so I slept with my rollers for the whole night. It was very difficult. I don't advise anybody to sleep with them. You'd rather do them sometime during the day and uh, maybe in the morning and then take them off in the afternoon. But otherwise, so yeah, this didn't come out well, but let's move on. Let me see if the pain was worth it. <laughs> wow, this is so cute. Look at that. Oh my God. So, you know, um, I've had my natural hair for... I think two and a half years now because I had a big chop sometime in 2018 around May -ish. so it's been almost two years and a few months uh, after I did cut my hair so I had dreadlocks before and then I decided to just go back to my hair and this is the link I'll not mess up with it yet. I just um, I just have to finish taking them off. So yeah. So yeah, it's been a while and uh, you know I live in Taiwan. So um, it's very difficult for you to find someone to do your hair when you live here. So you sort of have to learn. <laughs> you have to learn doing your own hair. And this is really a great opportunity for me because even before I moved here, I, I relied on saloons all the time. I never took care of my own hair. So it's nice to, to just learn how to do it. I mean, this skill is very helpful because sometimes you're busy, you don't want to... Uh, you don't want to do anything or go to the salon so yeah it's easier to just to just do it on your own so it's been a while and I haven't made any YouTube videos lately it's because I've been quite busy you know I'm a full-time student so I had exams and all that so it's been quite crazy but i didn't forget about my channel i hope that the information i i share here is useful to you and yeah i just hope that i'm making a difference in somebody's life just with the information that i share so a few updates so recently i've been leaning towards a more pescatarian diet so I would say that it's 90% vegetarian because I don't even eat fish as often. But I will safely say it's pescatarian because you know, <laughs> I love sushi. So I couldn't abandon it yet. So yeah. Oh, how is that? You guys, I can't believe it. <laughs> Okay, I have to finish the back before I do the front because the back is, you know. So how long did it take me to uh, to do this? So I think putting in the roller sets, I had to wash my hair with shampoo and then I conditioned it. And then after conditioning, I did det detangling with a, with a brush. And then immediately, so I was taking one section, do the detangling, immediately put the, the hair on the roller. 
so yeah so as you can see this is all natural hair and I know that there's this belief that you think maybe you need to have relaxed hair for you to do rollers but I just wanted to give it a try because I've seen some girls do it and I wanted to see how my hair will turn out and well even though I haven't finished taking it all off I'm happy with the results I think my hair is just more stretched out now and yeah what do you think what do you think does it look nice So, how are you guys doing with the coronavirus? Coronavirus! <laughs> oh. You know, it's been quite nice being in Taiwan because we haven't really had a lockdown. So, I attended classes as usual all throughout the spring semester and now over the summer I had my exam so I had to do a lot of studying yeah all cafes were open you can go there of course you need to wear a mask but I mean apart from that everything is open so it's just nice to have a somewhat normal life okay that was difficult to take out let's see okay okay all right so only a few remaining so I used I bought 24 dollars from carry for jelly for in Chinese and that's a French supermarket and it's very common here in Taiwan and you can buy this they're not that expensive it's like $59 per pack Taiwan dollars so not that expensive and I know that some girls watch me from Taiwan also and I know how difficult it is for you to take care of your hair but if you would like to know products that I use that I get from Taiwan always I, I don't get them from anywhere else then yeah you can ask me privately but for now uh, what I used last night was just the shampoo, the conditioner, and then I took some olive oil and I also used argan oil. So this is the ordinary argan oil. So I used that to, to just moisturize the hair, sort of use it right before I put on the thingy so now I'll just try to touch it like that oh what do you think I'm loving this I'm really loving this I will insert a photo of how my hair looks like normally so that you can compare but this is this is what it looks like now and you just have so the shiny thing is the oil from yesterday. It's quite soft and nice. And I'll turn so you guys can see. Okay. So, so this is what it looks like at the back. Side. Yeah, it's quite soft and nice. And I'm really happy. I'm so happy. That I did my hair today and yeah this is how fussy hair looks after a roller set it's not damp at all it's fully dry because I had it all night but yeah I guess I'll do more of this and I'll try to style it and then come back and show you